For the first time in 30 years, Arkansas's largest county will elect a new prosecutor. It's a race intensifying by the hour as the clock ticks down to election day. Here are the candidates, Alicia Walton and Will Jones, both Pulaski County residents. There are so many issues they'll have a voice in, from holding bad police officers accountable to shooting suspects out on bond. KRK 4's Mitch McCoy live in Little Rock tonight outside an early voting center where he took those questions to the candidates. Yep, Laura, Bob, good evening to you at 6 o'clock. The Pulaski and Perry County's race to be the next prosecutor is described as being one of the most heated races in the state of Arkansas right now. It is two candidates with two completely different backgrounds, all wanting your vote. The prosecutor is a bridge between law enforcement and the community. It's time for a better system of justice. Will Jones and Alicia Walton want to lead Arkansas's largest prosecuting attorney's office. In a community where violent crime usually steals headlines, Jones prosecuted his first homicide nearly two decades ago. You know, there's a lot of pain in this community, a lot of families that are hurting, and so I think we just need someone with the experience to know how to handle that, that has been doing this for a long time. Walton, who has not been a prosecutor, says her nine years as a public defender has prepared her for the job. You look to see what that person has been doing within the community. What programs have you put in place? How have you attempted to address the issues that are plaguing the criminal justice system? Records show some recent Little Rock shootings involved people out on bond, an issue Walton says comes down to training prosecutors. Don't be afraid to say, Your Honor, this needs to be a $500,000 bond. Your Honor, we're asking for a million dollar bond to be set. That, you know, have your facts. We do have to have some communications with all sides to understand why we're recommending this bond in this particular case and be clear about it, why we think this bond may be higher than normal or, or why we're allowing this to be lowered. When it comes to prosecuting bad cops, both candidates say no one is above the law. We have to hold people accountable, especially those that, that are here to protect and serve. And I had a case years ago where I prosecuted a uh, uh, an officer for right. If that investigation determines that, you know, you committed a crime and it points only to you, then the law requires that you be charged. Turning to the money in this race, Mitch, campaign records show more than $300,000 is being spent by political action committees. What can you tell us about that front? Well, yeah, Bob, there are two uh, fairly well-known political action groups right now in the race. The first one was actually just opened on Tuesday. This is going to likely support Will Jones. But because it just opened and they just filed with the Secretary of State, we don't know how much money they have or who's financially fueling that political action group. Now, there is another one that has really been pumping out a lot of mail flyers. It's supporting the Alicia Walton campaign. This is being funded by a Hungarian billion. And state records show, at least uh, the latest election filing show, they still have thousands of dollars left to spend. Live downtown, Mitch McCoy, KRK4 News.